Affected saints of just men. What 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 are you talking about? Who are these people? What are you saying? Is in your Bible that you have access to dimensions. Hebrews 12, Prophet, 22. But ye are come unto Mount Zion ah. and unto the city of the living God. Oof. The heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to spirits of just men made perfect. The church is afraid of talking about spirits of just men. Immediately they're like, oh, we are not Catholic. We don't talk about saints. But he just said that we've come to spirits of just men. They are justified men. They are saints. And yet you talk about this in the church today, pastors. We didn't learn about this in Bible college. Oh. This is why God is raising up a people with understanding in this season. Where the difference between a Catholic church and a group of people of God that have understanding is that when you see a spirit of just men, you're not going to sit down and worship that person. You're not burning candles. And you're not praying, oh, Saint Andrew, please intercede for us. <laughs> No such chants are happening That's right. because the, 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 the individual that appeared to John in Patmos comes to him and he immediately kneels down and he says, why are you kneeling down? Because I am a co-worker. In other words, he's saying, I'm your colleague. You and me, we are equal. It's just that you are coming from one dimension, I'm coming from another dimension. But we are brothers. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That is the relationship you are supposed to have with just men. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not. For I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. I am your fellow servant. Yes. Angels are not fellow servants. They are servants. Angels are your ministering angels. They come to serve you. I said that to somebody the other day. I said angels are afraid of you. Angels are in reverence of somebody that is washed by the blood of Jesus. Angels look at you guys and wonder what kind of a wonder you are. And when he sees your confessions, <laughs> angels are thinking, what kind of a blunder? <laughs> <laughs> because angels are like, I was sent to serve this fellow. <laughs> hmm? The last three minutes, she was confessing 30 negative things. And, and the angel is looking up to heaven saying, you, you sure you want me to walk with her, Lord? <laughs> are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, you're not a blunder. That's right. You are a wonder. Yeah. Angels find you worthy to be served. Oh, can you imagine that? That is who you and I are. Yet, we are functioning so weak without this understanding. But child of God, we are in the end time. There is a great showdown going to come. Soon and very soon we are going to meet our King.
And soon he is raising up an army that will come to rule with iron rods. You and I are part of that army. But the way you will function then will depend on your spiritual stature now. What you will do in that army when he returns, there is an army that you are going to be part of. How you will function in that army will depend on your spiritual stature on earth. How you govern now will determine the position of ranking in that army. So it is not by accident that I am teaching you this is an end time word. Because God is telling me, prepare the bride. And how do you prepare the bride? But not just by saying, don't do anything wrong, just we're going to heaven. No, 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 no. Going to heaven is already done, guys. You don't need to come to church for that. You are saved. If you die today, you will reach heaven. Don't worry. But the church is not so that we make sure that you die and go to heaven. The church is so that you're prepared to be part of that army. The system of Enoch. The reason I had to explain the system of Elijah because we are familiar with the spirit of Elijah. But we are not really familiar with Enoch. And Enoch lived 65 years and he begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after having begot Methuselah. I like that. To me that information is important. There is a birth that triggers a walking with God. There is a birth thing that triggers a walking with And he says, and he served the Lord and despised the evil ways of men despised the evil ways of men. So write that down. Number one, the system of Enoch despised the evil ways of the children of men. Now I talk to you about God raising up Enoch's God raising up Elijah's. And if you ask me, what does that look like? How do I enroll into that system? This is the way you're going to enroll. You have to hate like the way Enoch hates. And you have to love the way Enoch loved. If you do what he did, you can get what he had. One more time. If you do what he did, you can get what he had. So what did Enoch do? Everyone listening now. He despised, looked down, hated the evil that was in his generation. But here we are, that evil is now part of our lives in many ways. That evil is now celebrated on YouTube. That evil is now on our Instagrams where we spend hours and hours scrolling through. Huh? We have become desensitized to sin around us. Dating has been hijacked by the enemy where you are shocked that people are being divorced after one, two, three years of being married and yet you're not realizing they had 30 boyfriends before getting married. They don't know what it means to have one boyfriend. So now you're telling me that after 30 boyfriends, you want me to stay loyal to one husband. 
no i don't know what it means i'm just used to dumping the last one when he got upset with me so now you're telling me i won't do the same there is a world that has come into the church where divorces are on rise inside the church the brokenness of the world has now come to us the world has come to a place where we can't tell the difference we have become desensitized to sin if we are not careful now we are in a place where we won't be able to tell the difference between a child of god and an unbeliever because of the desensitization of sin you not lived in a time where there was more sin than what we have to deal and i said because those that group of people they were ready to sleep with angels yeah yeah okay and here we are in a similar situation where um, such kinds of intimacy has become a normal thing but god is looking for enox i will say let everybody in my generation do it but i won't yes let everybody in my generation do it but i am set apart can you despise the evil in your generation can you look at sin and call it evil can you hate sin to the point where now you interpret that not as a mere mistake but you look at it and say that's evil i have to withdraw myself from it the system of enoch hates sin with passion some of you are just realizing now that sin has now become part of you don't feel condemned i'm not here to judge any of you i'm just teaching about system of enoch How about we release some fire yes. into yourself Amen. Yes. into your heart that has been hijacked by the enemy yes. and say I am set apart in my generation yes. this sin may have entered into me but I am not part of it that's right this is where apostle paul can boldly say yet if i have committed a sin it is not me but sin in me he is able to separate himself and the sin inside of him oh my goodness yes i have the verse that romans 7 verse 17 ah. now then it is no more i that do it ah. but sin that dwelleth in me if you can say that you can separate that part of you and say just because i did it i do not support it i do not like it i am not part of it i disconnect myself from it satan you have no claim on me because i disconnect myself from that part of me Oh malanto break into sick somebody is connecting to the system of Enoch every emotion that the enemy wants to hijack bombard it in Jesus name every graphic images that the enemy has been feeding your mind bombard it in Jesus name every adulterated thoughts that is flooding your mind bombarded in Jesus name 
Rado Brakate Lasaya, it is not I. I connect to the grace of God. I connect to the grace of the Holy Spirit. Every weed inside of you be uprooted in the name. Satan, you have no claim on me. Agree with me and say, Satan, you have no claim on me. Out in the name of Jesus. Get it out of your system. Uproot it. Despise it. Hate it. Resist it. You are not a slave. Let your light shine again. Whichever women were sent against you, whichever man was sent against you, they shall not overpower you. You shall not fall into a trap of the enemy. Your light shall not be extinguished. You shall rise up as a mighty force against the spirit of Antichrist in this generation. Let every stronghold be pulled down in the name of Jesus. Pull down every strongholds. Pull down every strongholds. Pull down every strongholds in your mind. Pull down every strongholds in your heart. Pull down everything that the enemy has been building up. Everything that the enemy has been building up for time, for years, for decades. Pull it down. In the name of Jesus, God is restoring your intimacy with you. Child of God, I plug you back to your power source. Everything that has slowed down the power of God in you, I disconnect you from that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there are things that the enemy planted in your life, in your mind, in your heart, so that he can keep you weak. Things that he made you think, things that he made you feel, so that he can keep you weak. Child of God, today I disconnect you from that in Jesus' name. God comes to Adam and says, because you hearken to the voice of your wife. God did not come and say, oh, I'm sorry, it was not you. But he said, because you hearken unto the voice, voice of your wife. Every voice that the enemy has been using to hijack your heart. Disconnect that is disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. In the name of Jesus. Your light shall shine brightly in Jesus. Your light shall shine. My light shall shine. Hallelujah. Pray in the spirit all over this place. I connect back to the system of Enoch. To hate what he hates and to love what he loves. Can you surrender? Tell him, Lord, I renew my heart. There is a very powerful word by Jesus 
He said, the prince of this world is coming and he has no claims on me. Tell of God, may you be found with no claims of the enemy. I want you to just say, Lord, let your blood wash me. Let your blood wash me. Lord, I reset my walk with you. I reset my passion for you. I reset my desire for holiness. Let your blood wash me in the name of Jesus. Come on, begin to love him now. One more. Hello, welcome again. Thank you for being part of the Revive Nations family. We appreciate all the partners around the world that helped us to reach this word to the nations. And I believe that as you hear this word, you will receive breakthrough, deliverance, and your mind shall be renewed, and you shall be set free and receive victory in every areas of your life. You're now able to hear the full sermons on the Shaiju Matthew app. Subscribe to our social media platform and let us grow together. Thank you again for being part of this journey. Until next time, God bless. Shalom. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 